What's up everyone? My name is Christine and I have something called Common Variable Immune Deficiency, aka CVID. In today's video, I am going to talk about where I'm at in my life right now with CVID. How is it currently affecting me and how have my perceptions of having a chronic illness such as Common Variable Immune Deficiency changed from when I was younger, when I was first diagnosed, to today. First, I guess I'll talk about how it's changed some. When I was first diagnosed with Common Variable Immune Deficiency, I was 16 years old. I was still in high school. I was looking at going away to college. I was looking at getting into adulthood and my future and how is it gonna affect everything. And I was really, really, really petrified. Back then, and I would say, throughout my years in college, throughout my years in grad school, and really up until maybe about like three years ago or so, I felt like CVID was like the biggest thing in my life. It was a factor that affects literally everything, which is true, it still does. But in my mind, CVID was just like this constant roadblock that was preventing me from doing pretty much anything. I always told myself, I can't move because I have CVID, I have my doctor down here, and I have to stay down here. I have CVID, there's no moving. I can't quit my job because I need to stay on my employer's health insurance. I need health insurance, which is true, but I have CVID, I have to stay working 100%. Another thing I felt when I was younger was that my CVID was like this huge secret that I had to select who I would let the secret out to. Who was fortunate and close enough in my life to know that I was dealing with this chronic illness. So today, I don't see it the same way as I did back then. So I no longer see it as a huge roadblock for changing my life. I feel that if I wanna move, I'll be able to figure it out. There's not just one doctor that treats CVID. There are several doctors in this country, in other countries. And if anything, there are planes and the ability for me to see my doctor back home. Now, I am very fortunate in the fact that me being on my immune globulin replacement, I am very healthy. I don't get sick often. I get colds, but so does the average person. I don't feel like the illnesses that I get are necessarily related to the fact that I have an immune deficiency. I think it's just normal. And yeah, having health insurance is obviously pretty important. You do need it. This medicine is still really expensive, but there are other options out there than just being on an employer-sponsored health plan. Now, I put a little asterisk with this because I'm not gonna lie. The way healthcare is run in the United States really petrifies me and the fact that the laws could really change and we still don't know what's gonna happen with the laws is, yeah, definitely scary, but I try to not let that fear overrun my life. As far as letting people know, I don't think it's this big secret. I really don't think it's a big deal if somebody knows that I have CVID. I don't think it's that huge of a thing in my life that if somebody knows that I have it, like, are they gonna use it against me? I don't know. I, I mentioned this in another video where I talked about whether you should disclose your CVID or not, and honestly, I still believe this. Most people are so into themselves that they really just don't even remember about this thing about you, especially especially when it's an invisible illness and they don't see it really affecting your day-to-day -day life. I don't look like I'm sick, people don't think I'm sick, and honestly, most people that I tell that I have an immune deficiency forget about it anyways. So I don't feel like it's a secret. I, I don't go around just telling people about it, but if it comes up in conversation, I don't really care. I let them know. I mean, I have a YouTube channel where I talk about this, so I'm obviously, I'm, I'm out in the open here. It's, it's not a huge secret. And if this ever does backfire, I guess it does, such is life. I, I just, th those are my thoughts. I know there are people that disagree with me and hey, that's cool. We can all have our own opinions and our own 
disagreements and well, that is life. Where am I at right now with my CVID? Well, obviously CVID, it has no cure. So it's not like my CVID is gone. It's not like I can completely forget that I do have it. I'm on treatment for my CVID. I do my regular infusions. I still follow up with my immunologist. Thankfully, I am stable. I only see my immunologist twice a year and it's usually a, a pretty quick visit because I don't have much to update him on. Now, I do right now have the stuff going on with my lymphatic system, which I need to see a doctor for, but I'll get to that one day. I'm gonna be honest, there's a lot of days nowadays where I forget I have an immune deficiency, which is strange for me because when I was younger, it was literally on my mind every single day. I constantly thought about how I have this chronic illness, I have this primary immune deficiency, how is this gonna factor into my daily activities, how is this gonna factor into my life, what is gonna happen, I have this immune deficiency, it's this huge secret, I can't tell anybody, what is it gonna do? And today, where I am in my life, I don't think that way anymore. I just don't. It's, I don't wanna say I forget I have it, but sometimes, it's so far on the back burner of my mind that I really forget to factor it into some of my decisions. For some examples, when looking into moving and things like that, I sometimes forget that I have to find a doctor wherever I move to, I have to figure out my treatments, and all of that fun stuff that you have to deal with. It's not until like a few hours after I may have a conversation with someone where I'm like, oh yeah, I have an immune deficiency. I need to find a doctor if I move here and I have to figure out my health insurance. But the thing is, I do believe if you truly want something in life, you will be able to figure it out. So yeah. I don't really quite know what's happening with my moving plans just quite yet. I am um, still don't really want to be tied down to one particular place. I do have some aspiring goals of places that I would like to move to one day. The other thing is when I was in Europe last month, there was a period where I thought to myself, why don't I just stay here longer? Why am I going home? And it wasn't probably till like the next day maybe where I was like, I gotta get home to do my infusion. Like, I can't just stay here forever. I need to get on my treatment. I need my medicine. I need to infuse the stuff that keeps me alive. And it really, I forgot about that. I hate to say it. I really hate to say it. And sometimes I kind of forget my infusions coming up. I mean, if it wasn't for my phone reminding me the day of my infusion that I have my infusion, I might honestly miss some doses. And while this might sound like a bad thing, the fact that I might be a little forgetful for doing my medicine that keeps me alive, I still do do it. That is the important thing. I might be, you know, a little late here and there and shift around my schedule, but I do it. I see it as a good thing. I see it as I am somebody who took this illness that I got at a challenging age in life at 16 as you're leaving that teenagehood and going into adulthood and having to figure out all these transitional things in life, college, grad school, getting a job, getting health insurance, well having to accept and deal with having a chronic illness and I am happy to say that in my life today, things aren't like that anymore. CVID is just another part of me. It is not the main part of me. It is still a very important part of me. It's something that I'm going to have to treat for the rest of my life. And it is something that I'm going to have to manage. And I'm not saying I can just forget about it forever because I can't. But it's not a central point in my life. It's not. And people might have 
varying opinions on this. I don't really care. This is just me expressing my opinion and anyone watching this that maybe has had a chronic illness for a long time in your life, have your views of your illness changed over time? I mean, I imagine, like most things in life, your views on anything evolve over time. It's just natural. But I'd be curious to hear if anyone else had gone through something similar where something that is still a huge part of your life is no longer really the forefront of your mind in dealing with. I think I've gone on long enough about this. I'm still gonna make videos about CVID. CVID is still a big part of my life, but it's also not, if that makes any sense. So yeah, that's it. Enough rambling. Um, I think this video has gone on long enough. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, your week, wherever you are, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Um, so, yeah. Roscoe. <laughs> he won't stop licking me!